Okay, hello. I'm going to go over a um, quick demonstration of DOSBox. That's uh, D-O-S-B-O-X, and the website is DOSBox.com. Uh, what DOSBox is is a um, it's an open source uh, emulator that emulates the um, the hardware of old DOS machines as well as the shell environment, which would have been um, Command.com. Um, so basically, if you're interested in old DOS utilities or DOS games and want to run it on your modern operating system, this is definitely a um, program for you. Um, one caveat is you need to know the basic DOS commands, of course, um, but if you're interested in DOS programs, I think you would probably uh, be familiar with those already. Um, this is the website, and um, the program works on very uh, variety of um, operating systems, Windows, uh, Linux, Mac OS X, FreeBSD, etc. Um, it's a GPL program. Um, I first got introduced to it um, on Windows and dabbled with uh, using front ends, uh, GUI front ends and so forth. And um, that was quite a few years ago and now um, I run on Linux. Um, I really don't see the, the need for um, a front end nowadays. Um, maybe it's just become, I, I've kind of like working at the command line, but it just seems uh, unnecessary. Some people like it though. Okay, so alright, uh, running the program. Let's see is on typing DOS box. Okay, this is your initial screen after starting DOS box. Um, some important notes here are the um, control F12 combo. This will allow you to increase your CPU cycles as you can see up here. The default is 3000. This will work for most games. Uh, by most I mean older uh, games. If you get any, any semi-modern games, um, especially a couple of the first FPS's, you'll probably have to increase the CPU cycles to, for performance. Like um, Here's some good examples like Dark Forces or Duke Nukem 3D anything like that. Um, old CGA and EGA games ought to work fine on 3000 cycles. It's funny to think about that um, a lot of these DOS games I, I played when I was younger are um, easily 10 years old and some of them are coming on 20 years old. Okay now the first thing to do is go to the C drive. And Now when I hit this it's going to um, say that I have to mount a C drive first. And that's great. It's just reminding you that you need a C drive. So how do we do this? Uh, we're going to mount a local storage space as our virtual C drive. Like so. Okay, that's a success. And now our C drive. And now we'll do a DIR slash do. And look what we have here. Uh, this will probably bring back some memories for some people out there. Uh, this is the old um, edit.com um, text editor for DOS. And the mouse uh, cursor does work. There's mouse support, and which brings up a good point. How to toggle back and forth from um, mouse control in DOSBox and your host OS. And that key combo is Control F10, and then I can run work my mouse in Linux. And if I just click here, it's back in the DOS box. Uh, it's a good game to try. Oh, also, you don't have necessarily have to play games in DOS box. It's just more geared towards that because that's what most people are interested in, uh, interested in, including myself actually. Um, but old, old DOS utilities of any sort will work fine. Actually, I've had. We've been very successful running Windows 3.11 um, in DOSBox with no problems. So if you have a taste for nostalgia, it's um, it's a lot easier to run these applications in this environment than trying to um, get them to run in your modern operating system environment. Also, you can full screen this. Um, that's the typical um, Alt Enter combo, and it also works as a toggle back and forth from windowed mode to full screen. Okay, let's see. I'm going to play Dune, which is a um, game put out by Virgin Interactive, I think. And I played it years ago, and I, I loved it. It's still a favorite game of mine. Okay, I 
I don't know how well the sound's going to capture now, but um, here's Dune running, and I was um, beefing up CPU cycles just because I'm running a couple extra programs right now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the the key combo for that, which was a uh, control F12 I, that was in the um, initial screen, but to decrease the CPU cycles, like if you have a game running too fast, it's control F11 to subsequently decrease the cycles. Like so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and exit this game. Again, you should give it a try. And there's I could go on forever doing this, but I think this is a very um, good quick introduction to get you started. A couple other things you can do, you can mount CD ROMs. So um, if you have an ISO of your older DOS games, um, you can easily mount that and run it just like as though you had the CD still. Um, I believe you can also record videos from within DOSBox itself. I'm using XVidCap to make this video right now. I've never actually tried the video capture feature, but I might mess around with it sometime. Um, other than that, that's the end of, I guess we could say, a part one to my introduction to uh, DOSBox.